All right, we're back. Um, this is a little tips and tricks portion. Um, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite tricks from the deck. Um, all right, first off, if you have these cards in your opening hand, you have about 100% chance of winning. But if you don't, that's not a big deal. He searches him. With him, you can search him. You can search Birdman um, by using Gear Not X. But let's just say you have all three in hand. Very good place. Now, um, there's a lot of silly little combos you can do. Um, I'm going to show you the main one. So, opening turn. You have your set armor. He gets attacked. You know, you flip him up or whatever. Um, you get to search another accelerator. So you grab your next accelerator out of the deck. You can find him. Um, from there, you special. You special. You reveal your Birdman. Birdman says you bounce a card to hand, so you bounce your accelerator. Accelerator says if you control a gear game monster, you special summon him. You can special summon him. There's no limit to this. There's no once per turn clause. There's no there's no um, there's no circumstances to it. You just have to have that gear game monster put him back on the field. So then you special summon him, and then because you can, you special summon the same accelerator. From there, you flip him down with his effect. Then you sink seven. And you grab Beret. Beret's effect goes off. You grab his passion. His patch, he says, when he is special summoned, you can change one card on the field's battle position. You flip up armor. From there, you get yet another accelerator who can be special summoned at that point. You special summon him. From there, you sink another seven into another gray. Gray says throw another Karakuri monster so you get uh, Saizan um, out of the deck. You sync with him. You get um, whatever eight really fits the situation. I find myself going into Stardust, Crimson Blader. Um, usually I try to get um, Bredo out because then you can go Bredo like this, you can go Burrito, effect goes off, you grab uh, Saizan, and then you can go Stardust. Um, one cool thing is that once he's on the field, you can go Bray effect, change him to defense mode, draw a card. Pretty, pretty pluses. Um, sink 8, drop that Stardust to prevent Mirror Force from being a problem. Um, from there, you can drop Limiter, if Limiter doesn't finish finish him off or something happens um, that just leaves him with a little bit too much you can always go big eye I don't have a Draco sack um, which could be ideal for those plays but big eye works too because if they have something out that um, say they drop gores or something that, that stops you and that they can potentially use next turn so they're running mermaids and you know they're going to go big eye and just take one of your things take his, take his, uh, his gores it's mine now Take his token that has like 4,200 attack or or um, some seed amount of attack that you drop in Lunar. Take his token. It's mine now. And if one of them dies, eh, it's not a big deal. You um, you can use the other combos I'm about to show you to potentially put the same field back back and uh, have a lot more fun. So I'm going to show you the next the next combo. Alright, so uh, this one's one of my personal favorite tricks. So, uh, you only need to a combination of, uh, well, these are two different situations, but you, uh, you, it requires MK2 to be in the hand. And then either one of these two to be in hand or graveyard. Um, and then I'll explain him after, but for the, for the beginning, um, he will be in the scenario and he will have to be in graveyard. And says I don't want to be in graveyard. So, um... We'll go with the beginner route, so we'll say that you have Giorgiano in Hand or Graveyard. Alright, so it starts out, say it's late game, and there's um, uh, your opponent, you either need to get your combo started, or you have very little um, field advantage, but you have a lot of hand advantage, and your opponent has big field advantage, but no hand advantage, and you know you can get this off. So, you play MK2, special summon Giorgiano. Hand or graveyard. 
use his effect to tribute himself. Get back Saizan. Saizan is just a level 4 tuner. His effect is when he's attacked, he changes battle position like most Karakuri low level ones. Um, and if you get deal di battle damage, um, all Karakuris get a uh, boost and he can't die when he's in attack mode. He doesn't have that good of an effect, so it doesn't matter that his effect is negated by Giorgiano's effect. From there, you can sink and go into sevens. From here, you usually go into, well, we only run two sevens in this deck, so you have a choice between Beret to get your combo started again and do other things, or, this has saved me many, many times, going Black Rose. Kaboom. Your opponent now has a nuked field, unless they stop Black Rose somehow. Uh, they have a nuked field and very little hand advantage. Well, you are sending out a lot of hand advantage. Pretty nice. Um, now we'll go with the more advanced version of this play, which requires a little bit of searching. So for this one, we will have him in graveyard still. Says I'm still in graveyard. Gurgiano, though, has not hit hand or graveyard. He is still sitting in the deck. And you have MK2 and Gurgia Arsenal in hand or graveyard. So we'll say he's in the graveyard for now. Um, so play goes off. You play MK2. You special summon Arsenal. This play gets a little bit um, risky because Arsenal can be stopped with bottomless. And that can damage this play a lot. Um, Arsenal effect to tribute itself to search for one Gyrgyz monster and supposed to summon in defense position. Get Gyrgyz from deck. You tribute him. Same play ensues. It's just it's a it's another way to get that same play off. You can sink once again and get your beret or black rose. Um, for this next one, instead of Saizan, um, say you couldn't get your combo off and you only got his patch in the graveyard, which Gyrgyz sadly cannot get out. Um, this play is going to do the exact same thing, um, but instead, I'm going to explain the benefits of having Hypa in Graveyard. So you play MK2, Giorgiano, you tribute him for Hypa, whose effect says he must attack if able. And when he does attack, he's changed to defense mode. Like I said before, he's just a big beater, 2100. Really nice stats. Um, Giorgiano negates effects. So... He no longer has to change battle position. He doesn't have to attack. This leaves him open for a lot of fun plays. Like, say you have one accelerator in hand. Since you control a gear game monster, you can special summon him. Even after a big attack. Like, say, um, say you have him chilling in your hand. And you decide, I'm going to swing for a lot of damage. Limited removal. Right there, you've just done 42 and 2,000. So, 62. Say they're low enough, you, you can cowboy for game. You can special summon Accelerator. Cowboy for game. If not, you can go uh, Arc or even X. A lot of pluses to be had there. You can take a monster. You can burn him for game. You can search out more combo pieces. He dies. Well, because X has that little floater effect for the, the smaller Gear Gear monsters... It's not that big of a loss. It's a fun little play. Okay, and for the last little bit of this this combo with Gyrgyz and MK2, um, Gear Gear Gear. I said I'd talk about this a little bit when I was in the deck profile, so I'm gonna I'm gonna chat about this broken ass card. Um, so its effect says you special summon these two guys, and they get a level increase. They become level fours and they hit field. This does not negate effects. Given he doesn't get his effect because he needs to be normal flip summon, but Giriano, he is too good. So in the middle of your combo, it's not unlikely to have a field where you have something along the lines of um, of this. So we got all those cards out there. You just sank for Gray and stuff, and you summoned him, and then you sink. Um, Let's say you sink eight. This is another way you can get out those eights without having to um, go go nuts with it. So you get out Boreo, and then because um, he's a four now, so he can go for eights. Um, you bring out him, this Patchy, who changes and you draw and stuff. And um, now say you don't. Um, wait, there you go seven again. 
go seven, you grab another beret. Um, from there, let's say you don't want to go, um, you don't have another size on. Say it got banished or, um, somehow it is now removed from the game and you just can't get around it and you only have the one size on to go into Beretto. Um, there's a fun little way around this. You special summon Hyapa, or Hypa, sorry. Um, this is where he comes in hand because he's a non-tuner. So what you do, Giriano, bring him back. Da da da, and then you sink and you sink for your Stardust, your Scrap, your Crimson Blader, um, whatever you need. Um, also, cool thing is the reason I run um, Barkeon, um, this comes up more than you'd think actually. Um, two is Giriano plus him makes Barkeon and Barkeon stops every trap out there. He's almost a better, if you can get him out, he's almost better than Stardust just because, um, you know, all that stuff. I mean, he has the same weaknesses as Stardust, um, where he has to, um, he can't stop sound warnings, he can't stop, you know, counter traps. But he does have the add bonus, you know, just, um, he can be accessible. He's, he's just another way out in this deck. Um, just a little play to show you with Gear Gear Gear. So, yeah. Um, and that's the last combo I wanted to show you. Um, yeah, so um, that's about it with this deck. I just wanted to show um, these tricks and whatnot, the little things that I've acquired throughout the years of playing this deck. Um, that this deck isn't just a one trick pony like a lot of people think where all it has is that one generic play where it goes off and it has the end result of Beret, Beret, Beretto and Stardust. Um, I just wanted to show that the deck, though that is the main thing you want to get out is that field and that's your your main focus when you're start setting up your plays, is that that's not the only thing this deck can do and it can do other plays and it can it can problem solve, it can get um, it can get around things, it can do um, some, it can get to that field through other means. It's not just a one trick pony where you flip armor and you go Birdman and you sink and you sink and you sink. Because if it gets stopped, um, I know I've met a few Gyria players recently who are very new to the deck um, and they don't know the plays. So they're they're kind of lost and they, they, they only rely on that one big play and if they get stopped, they're kind of stuck and they don't really know what to do with themselves. So I just wanted to get this information out there. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the deck profile. Uh, Subscribe, comment, like, rate, you know, all that good jazz. Tell a friend. Um, I really appreciate getting my name out there. Um, I will be starting to make more videos. I've, I've moved back home from college, so um, I will have more time to do this. And um, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.